heck I'll go? Tell me when it's recording. I mean, I guess it's recording. Oh, you record right now? <laughs> it's flashing a red light. Oh, um, hi. This is Mike with... <laughs> and Angel. Mike and Angel with <laughs> Retro RV Recon. So, we're going to review our camper. We're going to review a couple of little things about it and let you guys know what's going on. And take a tour. So, this is a 24-foot uh, Riverside Retro um, 189 R. It's got two axles and I don't know what what else makes it an R. One eighty nine. Start from Q. So this is our, our we're gonna review our our Riverside Retro one eighty nine R. Uh, we love it and we just thought it was about time somebody on YouTube posted something about it because we haven't seen any owners doing so. We're gonna help you out. Yeah. What does the R um, stand for? The door is in the back. The rear door. I think, yeah. The rear no, door. that is. That's the reason. We love that, by the so, way. As you can see, we have a, a, a motor-operated lift. We have two propane tanks. We have a little bitty battery here. And we haven't had any problems using the battery. Of course, we've only boondocked a few times. So, the only time we needed a battery was, you know, maybe a few hours each night we boondocked. But anyway, got a cool little light. I installed these levels because it didn't have it and I found it was a little bit difficult to you know when I set it down I didn't know how level it was because we have a habit of showing up at sites late at night we have a level in the front right there and yeah, also and a have, level and, and then there's this one I on added this, this level mm -hmm. and uh, I don't have the door this is a storage compartment it goes all the way through to the other side um, it's big on the inside it's just the opening is not very big and um Head knocker, I thought we were going around this way. So there's a head knocker on this side. <laughs> we're going to finish at the door, remember? <laughs> and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. i got to show you this. So this okay. is my truck. It's a 1500 Ram. Um, the stuff that people usually store in the camper, I put in the back of the truck in these bins. That's got all of this, got the power cord and the water stuff. And that's my uh, sewer stuff. And the big box has tools that I might need for some emergency purpose. That way, I don't have to store this stuff in the camper. And when we get home, I just unload the truck. And it doesn't add to the weight. Yes, it doesn't add to the tongue weight. Like the um, yes, water does. Stable. I think it's right. the load a whole lot better. Good. So we got the jack. And um, it just, if you would just shine it on that jack for a second. Okay. okay. My husband is very clever. What is your husband? My husband is very clever when it comes to putting these jacks so, in place, mm -hmm. stabilizers. I use this. Up and down. Just takes a second. Done. Give us an example. Quick. Quick and easy. Easy peasy. Yep. We're at site 13. So here's the other end. It opens on both sides. Here's the emergency window. And of course you hook up. We have a shower out here, which is nice when you want to rinse your shoes off or there's something inside you don't want to go into your tank system. You just come out here and rinse it. You got hot and cold water. Which is really nice. And this this comes with a lock. I think all the new ones comes with lock, come with locks on it. And uh Oh, something else that I really like these these chocks are rubber they are the soft rubber so they grip the ground when you put them in they don't slide I feel a whole lot better with those this is stuff nobody wants to talk about but we won't these are the rubber things on this camper every Bumper. time we stop we have to come and knock them back on yeah they don't really stay snug and tight I don't know if it's everybody's camper but this one it does it and I, I don't put the hose in yeah. here. We know that some want, people do, but... I personally don't want anything in that line in the back of my camera. Or anywhere else. <laughs> and, uh, it's got a standard bumper. It's got the, the, the black water wash. I call it something else, but it's black water wash. What do you call it? The animal plug. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very... Uh, we like Anybody, that feature yeah, a lot. That's that's you know, nice. You don't have a bunch of crap floating around you. Uh, right. Uh, RV when you right. Sleep. We put a bike rack on here one time, mm -hmm. and you can see I put some 
some rubber padding around here so I didn't mar up the paint. And it was doing a great job. Everything seemed great. We put the two bikes back here, it was fine. We went to Lake Bruin and I realized that the the bike rack was bouncing around and the handlebars beating the side of the And how did we know that, baby? <laughs> Somebody was waving at us to flag us down on the side of the main road to in Louisiana. Yeah. Hey, Very your sweet bikes lady. Are off your bikes camper. are hammering your back of your camper. <laughs> but anyway. Yeah. So we so, learned a lesson there. Yeah. So if you want to do some research, it's Whitewater by RiversideRVs.net. I took all the other stickers off from the from the folks we bought it from because they don't pay me to advertise and I'm not. But I don't mind people seeing where to get it from or who, who mm -hmm. makes it. And here's the other head knocker. Here's my wife's brilliant idea. It saved my head a lot of racking. And, uh, here's the 189R. Oh, Probably need to check your list real quick. This uh, mat is very valuable. It keeps dirt from being tracked into our camper. It's actually, um, it's three sections and this is two sections wide. Because yeah, it's of, even bigger. We just, just the lip right here yeah, we, we adjust it to every camping spot that we visit. So I'm looking need. at the list. Uh, oh, what about <clears> the <throat> ex the plug-in on the outside? Oh, yeah. We haven't used it yet, but if you wanted to string lights, that would string be perfect for that. Phone. Yep. The speakers. speakers and, um, Good outside radio. We have, turn these lights on. There we go. So that's kind of cool. Yeah. Really the, cool. The awning is real nice. It's, it's electric. It's an electric awning. This actually... Most campers have this. This actually tilts. In case you need the water to run off. The water to run off to the side. You didn't talk about the tires too much, baby. I know there was something you wanted to share about the tires. The tires are uh, they're hard to find. These tires, I tried. First of all, they're 65 mile an hour tires. 65 miles an hour is your maximum speed. I really don't want to go a whole lot faster than that, but I would like to go at least 70 on the interstate. And I can't do it with these tires. So when the time is right, I'm going to find somebody who sells trailer tires, or at least the white wall. That's the part, getting the white wall. For tires that are a higher rating than this one. And, you know, it never hurts to get a higher rating tire. What else? We're walking this way or are we done? Well, you have a list in your hand, so I don't know. Yeah, matches. <laughs> okay, the tires, uh, the bumper, the bike rack. Oh yeah, the rear view extenders on my truck. Oh yeah, that was a really good deal too, huh? Yeah, Those are 40, inexpensive. Forty dollars for the pair, and I got it. I got it at Camping World, and they just literally flip on and off. Easy peasy. They're not. They, they're not as good as the ones that are made for towing. But, you know, they're better than nothing at all. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh, You're cute and all that, but I want to show more of my camper. Show more of the camper. <laughs> uh, I did some research on the truck just as far as towing this to the mall. The owner's manual says if you're towing a camper, to use a higher octane other than 87. That's what this Dodge says. Um, we do have a lot. We do use a lot when we move the camper. Especially in the Smokies when we go hiking for the day, we lock up the uh, hitch. Pause for yeah, lake view. Head. And uh, I, I think that's about it. I wash it, I wash it once, but it needs to be washed again. We have a big trip coming up in uh, a couple of months. I'll probably give it a good cleaning then. But the camper is 3,800 pounds empty. It's got 400 pounds of tongue weight. It's very light. This truck is absolutely capable of towing it. Yeah, a Ram 1500. Yeah, Ram 1500. It's got the 5.7 cylinder in it and uh, gasoline engine. Had I known when I bought this truck, had I known I was going to be towing a camper, I'd have probably bought the 2500 because I just like to have a little more than I need. But this is absolutely fine. It's adequate <clears throat> for the camper we're towing. And I got to plug Cooper Tires, even though Cooper Tires is not a sponsor. 
I got a plug Cooper tires. These are the uh, the evolutions for our truck. Awesome. Okay, compare to Michelin. I've, I've, this is my second pair on this truck. I've got uh, 100,000 miles on it. The first set, I put close to 60,000 on them. And uh, if you want, <clears throat> you know, you can't go riding in the mud. You get stuck in the wet grass, but I drive interstate. So anyway. Um, I guess that's about it for the outside. Okay. It's absolutely functional. It's brand new. It's 2021. Oh, it's um, perfect for two people. Yeah, just it cannot. Two of us. I mean, it just meets like our that. needs just perfectly. We really, really it's have enjoyed it. It's an excellent camper. It's this is a 2021. Is that what yeah. you told yeah, them right here? Okay. I can't think of anything else out here. I mean, it's a camper. Okay. So it's easy to tow. It's easy to turn. Easy to back up. Oh, one up. Back here. Tell you they come reverse camera ready that just means a mount yeah <laughs> that doesn't mean it comes with the camera or anything yeah. like that you it have just to purchase the, the, the camera equipment so yeah okay spare top they wanted to rip us off with the spare top <laughs> well, we went to pick the yeah i know i've barred up about it we went to pick this thing up they had some old raggedy white rim tire on here all of the campers we looked at on the, on their floor had the spare tires under the bed yeah i can't imagine why they would want to well i want to say rip us off but why they would want to pull a fast one like that but anyway i made a stink of it and we got a tire. come on a white one on the back of this look at the camber uh it even have chrome on it the squeaky wheel gets the oil or whatever that <laughs> squeak, does that squeaky, fit here in this instance because <laughs> yeah, so. you threw a fit and that 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 spare was put on yeah. there just like we wanted so but you know we've been around sometimes the squeaky wheel gets replaced <laughs> not in this instance right. so uh ready to go in ready to see the inside ready to go in all right all right folks i guess we'll go inside Hey, baby. Didn't your mom ever teach you to knock on the door before you come in? <laughs> it's your husband. Hi, come on in. I gotta please. Oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, sure. I wanna show the doors. Show the door. So we started collecting the stickers to put on the doors. We see a bunch of folks doing that. And uh, it's, it's pretty, not everywhere we've been. Then. Uh, it's not everywhere we've been, but the funny thing is, it's hard to get these stickers. So most of them we ordered online. We yeah. got the 30A on 30A, so that was nice. We prefer to get them at the sites we go to, but to yeah, we have a whole bunch of them coming up this year. We have a lot of a lot of traveling in there. The goal is to have the whole door covered in stickers before the year's over, right, baby? Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Come on in, let's show you around. All right, let's go. Oh, wait a minute. I just want to point out we got trailer trash. We got some trailer trash up in here. When I ordered it, I thought it was going to be much bigger, but you know, it's still cute, right? Yep, it's still cute. It's All right. On it, so. Oh, and you have to show them this. Our art oh, that yeah. we have hanging on our wall of our camper. So our granddaughter drew this for us. She <laughs> colored it in. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful Grammy right there in the door and hungry poppy at the dinette. <laughs> She went home after she saw the camper for the first time. She went home and drew that beautiful piece of art for us. So, but anyway, here's the retro. Place. Yes, here's the retro. There we go. So it's a 189 R, and it's 24 feet long. Is it's that right? 24 feet long and eight feet wide. Eight feet wide, which you can see is very spacious. Yes. And about six six feet four inches on the inside. Yes, it's very tall, so you don't have to duck the tall. It's kind of you had to do in the nomad. It's yes, taller. yes. The camper we used to have it was kind of short. 
Yeah, and it was uh, not, it wasn't as wide, so we were bumping each other, coming and going. But right here, we can pass each other without any problems. There's plenty of space. Yeah, it's perfect for two. The people. reason why we went shopping for a new camper was we loved our Nomad, and it was great for you know the two of us. It was comfy, cozy, but these walk around queen beds got us out looking at some new campers. So if you come back here and look, there were curtains here. But we took those down just to give us more space since it's just the two of us you know we agreed we don't really need those curtains and um <coughs> so you can see the, excuse me it's a walk around queen bed which is really nice lots of storage above and beside you have a hanging closet his and hers lots of room there i like to put my purse right here it's a good spot to i'm going to point out the uh, little plug in the back. Can we turn on the light? Yes, please. Okay, these are the reading lights, his and hers again. We got we added these little phone holders. We're yeah. really enjoying those. It keeps keeps you from losing your phone. And back and here handy. we have a little cubby area that we appreciate. We keep our electronics that we plug in because there are USB plugs and 120 plugs behind the uh bed you can yeah, see on each side let me turn the light on so you can kind of kind of hide stuff back here too which is you nice see, there we go um let's see i said there's storage above the bed right and down below under the bed we have um massive storage where we put our dirty laundry usually or um shoes or anything like that if we're going on weekly trips over here in the dinette area and this is a massive storage on this seat, and we have our backpacks in there. Whenever we like to go hiking in our hiking boots, they stay stowed in there, so we have them with us at all times. And we have used this one time as a bed. It does um, break down into a child-sized bed when our uh, grandbabies, Molly and Olivia, spent the night with us at our camper. They slept here side by side, seven years old. They were little, but um, other than that, it stays. We keep it as a dinette table because we use it when we when we eat. Yeah, we never break it down. No, we never break it down. We have a bus storage. We have, this is a, a radio. Yeah, it's an AM, USB. FM, USB. And it's also capable of uh, an HDMI cord. So if we wanted to run the television set through there, we could. But there'd be a cord draped down. So Michael did point out the speakers on the outside. So all of that, you know, yes. played out on the outside yes. too as well. Um, let's see what else, baby. Well, oh, come see in my kitchen. A double sink, which I love. Lots of storage under. I have my pots and pans under there. And a three burner stove, which when I'm not using the stove, I can use this as a uh, countertop. All right. Three burner stove. Of course, propane, which we love propane, right, babe? Yep, we love it. <laughs> and this, I did not have this in my old camper. An oven. Yep. Which anyone who loves to cook knows you uh, ovens and must have. So, um, of course, the microwave too is very handy in our coffee pot. Um, full size refrigerator. Lots of freezer space, refrigerator space, even with the crispers at the bottom. So that's really nice. And um, our TV. Does it pull out? You can pull it out. There. It Without it came swirls. with it came with the um the camper when we bought it. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh. We watched it a couple of times. We used to call it a football game. And well, yeah, late at us. night when you're a little restless and you just maybe watch yeah. TV. And, or when it's a rainy day like it is today. It's a rainy day today. <laughs> um, there's storage under here, and that's where we keep Julie's <clears throat> supplies and also our tablecloths that we put outside on our picnic tables. Um, before we move on, oh the the mattress. Upgrade. Oh, yeah, we do need to talk yeah. about the mattress upgrade. The mattress is an upgrade. Right. So, anyway, when one of the things, it's kind of hard to get the camera to look at it, right? One of the things we were able to upgrade was the, the mattress. It went from a the firm rock card that usually comes with it yeah, to... Yeah, standard. Yeah, but there was an upgrade available. We went ahead and took it. So uh, we're very so grateful for that. So much nicer. It's so much yes. more comfortable. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll look it up and I'll put a, I'll put some information on the the model, or the at least the name brand or whatever it is. The information from the bed on. We both agree. If you're gonna do an upgrade, a mattress is the place where you need to spend a little bit more. Um, not that it was. I don't think it was 
it was any more for us though, was it, Michael? It was included in our No, we asked if, yeah, in negotiating, we asked if we could have an upgrade on the bed. The cool thing about this mattress, it has notches on the corners. And because we have the USB ports in the 120 volts, Michael and I decided it would better be better for us if we turn the mattress around and it would make it easier for us to access those um, plugs. In yeah, the back so the notches wall. are now at the head of the bed right. so that Which we can access. Better for us. Yeah, we could access the yeah, cords. We still have plenty of room to walk around, so that's fine. Okay. Um, let's see, we're going to save Jilly for the end? Yeah, we'll save the Jilly for the okay. end. Jilly's a little So now the surprise. bathroom. So I'm going to let you peek into the bathroom. Um, we made an upgrade in here. It has made a huge difference in our experience, right, Michael? Yeah, we did. <laughs> Would you like so to describe see. what the toilet was like that came with the camper? <laughs> yes, well, it's a cool map. So the toilet that came with the camper, oh, when, I'm not, you can't gracefully say this, but when you sit on the toilet, it sounded like you were crushing a plastic bottle. It made so much crinkling noise. Like, oh my goodness, it, it I need to get on a diet or something like that. Because, yeah, I felt like I was a big old... You know, what would Java sit I felt like it was going to topple over too because all the crinkling sounds <clears throat> made. So we went ahead and up upgraded. It's it's a porcelain uh, toilet, and it's yeah. not a whole. Yes, yeah, it's, it's porcelain now. The other one we just I, actually I just tossed it. Maybe I shouldn't have, but um, it's it feels a whole lot better. It's got the soft closed lid, and um, the yeah, the pedal flush. Michael changed that out all on his own, and it took like less than a half hour. So it's well worth Yeah, about a half hour. Just simple yeah. simple tools. No big deal. Just it's, make sure the water's off. It makes make sure, all the difference. Make sure your tank's because, clean. You know, you got to feel comfortable. comfortable when you go. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dude, we can't have that plastic crunching sound. No. Like we're going to topple over. So, I mean, you, yeah. you don't. That's if, Come close right I mean, now. Yeah, let's else let's change the here. subject. <laughs> Because it's just the two of us in floor space, you know, we like it wide open. And we'll show you another thing that we've done to the, make more floor space. We discovered that it's best for the two of us if we keep our garbage can in our shower because um, it gets it off the floor in the, in, you know, in gets the it out of the, the way. Paper. It gives us more room. We also put um, laundry in here too, as, you know, in, in addition to under the bed. But when we need to take a shower, we just take this out and put it and take the shower. Yeah, and we put just put the it pan back in. And it works really well for us. And even when we're traveling and it's empty, you know, when we've taken out the garbage, we lay our can down in the tub just for travel. So, we'll, you know, yes. And of course, you, I think right up there, you can see we have two vents in the uh, camper yes, one the right there. The and the second one is over the bed, over the bed. Oh, and you know what? They probably could give us feedback on the upgrade on the shower head because that's something that we know is in our future before we head out west. We want to make sure we have a good shower because the one in there is the factory standard and yeah, we're it's, not real happy with it. It's not very good water pressure. Yeah, it's it's a very it's stiff plastic yeah, very stiff. hose and um, of course not really user friendly. most folks know that when you're talking about camper stuff, you're talking about lighter weight. Yeah, minimal. So, you know, just like the, the new the new toilet, I was thought, oh my gosh, the porcelain is going to be so heavy, but it's really not all that heavy. In the wash, it's, it was worth it. Um, we have a vanity here, storage underneath, and our medicine cabinet, and this is, you know, right outside the restroom. Um, cabinet space here. This is where we keep our gloves and scarves and gaiters when we go hiking and our jackets, windbreakers and such. And here. there's our electric heater. Our electric heater. Let me show you this. This we have, and it goes with us wherever we go because it saves on our propane. So this time of year, y'all know it gets really cold and we use a lot of propane keeping our heater running. And so if we can, you know, if the temperatures allow, we, um, we minimize run the use on the propane yeah. by plugging in the electric heater and it just sits on the floor, you know, we just plug it in and it, it, it helps keep the camper nice and toasty and warm, like I said, without having to go Yeah, so that we don't use up the propane so and much. And we have used one bottle of propane since August? Since August, yes. August, so right. Just cooking and, you know. Yeah, it's, uh... Uh, six months out of one tank, and we have a two tank on the camper. Right, and there is um, shelf space up top, which is really nice. And these drawers are awesome. What we found is 
we can stand outside the camper and reach into these drawers and get supplies that we need whether you know a line for jilly or yeah we keep the dog leash um, right there a bug spray flashlights and all that kind of stuff we keep right there in those drawers it's very convenient you don't even have to come in the camper you can just reach around the corner and grab it did you show you a little installation of your key keeper no i did not that's did really not. cool you can just show that off let's see and these shelves and the little hooks we installed those are upgrades that we've made yeah put a little keychain right there a little uh key hanger we know that Velcro is very popular for hanging things. That's how Ruby's artwork is hung. But we also have these peel and stick hooks that we found on Amazon. We've used these throughout the camper also. We have some in the kitchen and um, to keep the hand towel. We have a towel rack like that in the bathroom. You'll probably be able to see that when you watched earlier. Now, that's stuff that we, we love this camper. It has been so wonderful for us. It meets all our needs. Of course, it's just me and Michael now. Um, you know, kids are all grown and gone, but it's perfect space for us. We don't feel cramped in or anything. However, when we were talking about doing this video, we both agree there's one thing that we really were disappointed about, and that is the air conditioning. The air conditioning unit. Not because it doesn't work. Believe me, it pumps out the cool air. We don't have a problem with that. Just ask Michael. He has to get up and shut it off. Yes, <laughs> I have to get up and turn, turn off the air conditioner. I have to get but up and turn off the heater. Yeah, <laughs> the problem that we have with it is it's so loud. I mean, from where he is now to where I am, with this thing on, we couldn't hear each other. And should I turn it on so they can hear? Yeah, turn it on. It was such a disappointment. And the so, thermostat on it, it doesn't turn off, right? It just the, constantly the thermostat, The thermostat will engage and disengage the compressor. But it won't, the fan, once the unit is in the on position, the fan blows until you get up and turn it off. Yeah, and, and it's the loud. fan is what's loud. It's so loud. Let's it's give so us a whirl. So, okay. Give it a whirl. I'm going to let you hear what it sounds like. Is that it on high? That's on high. So, Michael, can you hear me back here? Uh, what? Can you hear me back here? Look. No, I don't have any Wait, hair over there. <laughs> I said, can you hear me back here? You don't have to yell, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, that's the only drawback. I mean, it's excellent as far as keeping us cool <clears throat> on those hot days, but it's just so It would loud. be a lot more tolerable if the fan went on and off with the compressor. Right. Like and, our heater does. Our heater goes on and yeah. off. Yeah. Now, there's a modification. It's not loud, but... I've read, I'm sorry, Angel. I um, interrupted No, you. that's it. I just want to make sure they know the heater is not loud and it doesn't. Um, stay on constantly, but the air conditioning unit does. Okay. Here. So, um, that's the only one thing that we really do not like, right? What are we? Oh, I'm sorry. I was uh, pointing at the um, the photos. Oh, our photos. How know. we hung them? Yeah, we didn't use tape and we didn't do Velcro on these, but this is very clever. Something I learned from my years of teaching. Magnets are awesome, especially when you have you know this wood is thin. But, um, so here's a little trick that we, we have these very strong magnets and put them on the back side of your door and it holds your photos in place. Even when we're going down the road, these don't move. So instead of putting Velcro and the sticky stuff, we just use those little magnets and they're handy dandy because I have to have my photo gallery at home. I have a fridge gallery, but you know, this is not metal either. This is wood grain. So I have to have my photos of my family. My grandbabies go with us wherever we go. Yep. There they are at our wedding. You can zoom in and show how cute they are, Michael. Okay. <coughs> First of all, look at that cute couple. <laughs> all yes. right. That's six of the seven. The baby's yeah. not in the photo because he wasn't even thought of back then, no. was he, babe? No, that's our so wedding. So we do have number seven is here. And what a that's, blessing. That's us. That's our engagement trip to the mountains. We went to uh, Appalachian Trail. Yeah, that's, that's us hiking off, on the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, that's right by Fontana Dam. And this was our honeymoon. Yeah, that's Uncle Joe's cabin. Uncle Joe's cabin. That brook was, I mean, literally. Right ten, outside the door. Yeah, 10 feet away from the cabin. It's a beautiful little cabin. Too. Anyway. So, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask down below. The last thing we saved the best for last is an improvement that my wonderful husband made. I'm the wonderful husband. <laughs> yes, behind the camera. Wonderful husband made to accommodate our our sweet, precious Jilly, who travels with us. She's our old puppy dog. She's gray like me, but she has her own room. 
So under this bench of the dinette, the same storage space is where we keep our backpacks, Michael has cut an opening for her to go in and out of. And he put, what was this stuff right here, buddy? It's a door trim for, auto, for a car, for an automobile or a truck, a truck door. Yeah. You put it and on the edge way, to keep it from getting chipped. Yeah, and so she won't get scratched, too. Yeah, it's and it's kind of decorative. It matches yeah, it the is. camper. It's very cute. The black. And then I ordered her name from Amazon, and that's Julie's bedroom. And she feels nice and safe and secure in there. And even when I sit at the dinette with her in it, she's so used to it now. She loves it. It keeps her out of our way. Yeah. Right? What kind and of a bed is it? Oh, this is a foam. Scooch bed, baby. This is a foam, um, just a little mat for a kennel, a crate. And I ordered it off of Amazon, too. She really needs a good room right, right now, y'all. But she, does. she loves her little room, especially on rainy days, because she feels yep. safe and secure. She goes there. in there and just ha hangs out. She's out of the way. She feels safe, and she can just stick her nose out just a little bit to see what's going on with us. And Michael decided to put that opening here at the end of the bench. So that she can peek out and see what's going on and uh, not wonder. Because if yeah, we you know, made that opening in the back, she wouldn't be able to right. see what's going Dogs on. want to be a part of everything. Yeah, she's part of our pack, right, babe? Right. So she wants to be able to look out and go, oh, there they are. Okay, they didn't leave me. <laughs> yeah, that's her delicious. So she loves her little room, so that was awesome. So I just thought that was a great idea. So many people travel with their pets. So I think if you have the space to do that, that has kept her from getting... Um, you know, kept her out of our way. And, yeah. Did we mention what was under that one? She feels safe. The storage? Secure. Yeah, our backpacks. And our, our hiking. Boots. Yeah, our hiking, yeah, our hiking, hiking backpacks and our boots. We always want to have those at the ready whenever we, um, you know, find yeah, a trail I think, that we want to You know, go. just gear that's not dirty. Yeah. It's like I said outside, we don't, we don't try not to pack anything that's funky in here. What did we have in the stores, the pass-through? Did you talk about that? When you were uh, no, I didn't. Um, the pass-through storage in front of the camper are just uh, chairs, the, mat. the mat outside, and an unused barbecue pit. So far, with all the sites we've been to, we were able we to use the outside barbecue. pits. Yeah. Right. And we have all... Um, and just clean stuff. Anything that... We have a broom in there. Yeah. And anything that might get dirty goes in the back of my truck. Right. Or might smell funky. Yeah. We're going to try to keep it nice and clean in here but that's it our retro rv retro um 189r if you have any questions or comments put those down below let us know what you think about this idea and if yep. you want to try to use it i know if you have dogs that are too big to fit under there yeah, you know I'm, you, you might we, not be able to but we know that um if you have any questions don't hesitate because the whole purpose we started doing this channel was to help people right. so um yeah, because when we started RVN, there weren't that many videos that we could watch to help us to figure out certain things. I mean, things. yeah, there's a lot of folks out there that do the RV videos yeah. that we really appreciate, and we still yes. watch, subscribe, and, and watch. You and me in the RV. Yeah. yeah. Um, long, changing long, lanes. Yeah, long, 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 long honeymoon, honeymoon. Just to suggest a few. We really appreciate, appreciate all yeah, the information. Yeah, we learned a lot. And you guys, we're not new newbies <laughs> because we've been doing this over a year no we're not newbie newbies <laughs> we're just newbies we're newbies but we're learning as we go and we are more than happy to share what we've learned with you and we we don't mind at all just ask and we will answer your questions or give you any information that we may have yeah so thank you so we're, much for we're, watching yeah we're not um full timers we're weekend warriors but almost every weekend though yeah and sometimes uh, weeks at a time i think the longest stretch we've gone without going anywhere since we bought this particular camper has been two weeks there were two weekends we were home probably because of the holidays and yeah, family functions the holidays but even if we just run out for a, a, a short weekend somewhere maybe an hour and a half away we make it but yeah, we're, we still enjoy it oh i'm so sorry i'm not paying attention it. to where i'm aiming this thing so anyway <laughs> okay so, anything else, baby? That's it. We covered it. We got it. I think we got it. So, let us know what you think. All right. Well, this folks. This is our retro. We love it. Yep. Retro RV Recon. And like this and is... subscribe down below, please. And um, like we said, comments are welcome. <laughs> questions are welcome. I'm Mike. I'm Angel. Happy camping. Happy trails. Oh, wait. It's happy trails. Happy trails. Day. Happy camping. <laughs> I say happy trails. Happy trails. I love you. <laughs> I love you.